everyone. I'm Susan Mulvihill. Welcome to my vegetable garden. I'm just getting ready to check on the plants, so come along with me and I'll give you a tour. This is our red cabbage bed. I keep it covered with floating row cover for the entire season because the cabbage butterflies will want to lay eggs on the leaves and we don't want that. Here's the shallot and garlic bed. We've been harvesting garlic scapes lately, which are absolutely delicious. Next is the carrot and parsnip bed, and it's currently covered with bird netting just to keep the seedlings safe from being pecked by birds, but that will come off shortly. Then we have two onion beds, and all of those were started from plant starts. Next is the lettuce bed, that is covered with netting and it will be on for the entire season because birds like to peck the leaves. And this is the potato patch. We're growing Viking Purple and Yukon Gold. This is my sunflower patch and I temporarily have bird netting over it just to protect the seedlings from birds a little bit longer. But I've located this planting right next to our insect hotel because these sunflowers will attract pollinators and that's perfect. Next is the leaf bed. You see the pile of soil in the middle. That is eventually going to be surrounding the leaks as they grow and that gives you the nice white stems. This next bed is the zucchini bed and the ones in the background along that metal grid are a climbing trombone zucchini. Very cool. Here's red mizuna, just beautiful, and dinosaur kale or lachinato kale. Next are beets and Swiss chard. This pea in the foreground is a special type that I'm growing up on this trellis. And then behind it is the pepper patch. Then there are the indigo rose tomatoes and I grow them along a wire grid for support, which works great. This is my favorite part of my vegetable garden. I'm growing pole beans on this arbor. The plants grow up and over the arbor. The beans hang down on the inside and so I get to stand in the shade while I'm picking them. It's great. Behind the beans are my celery. Next is the pea patch. And then the artichokes. As you can see, those plants have a long way to go. Next is the bush beans. This is my hoop house. Now during the winter I grow cold tolerant veggies and that works great. But I figure I've got it, so why don't I grow warm season crops in here? They love the warmth of this. So these are cantaloupes and cucumbers. In this area, we have three 16 foot long raised beds, which is ideal for growing corn, winter squash and pumpkins, and our paste tomatoes for making sauce and ketchups. Now behind me is our herb and asparagus bed. 